All right. Hello. It's me, Jeremy Parrish, and this is Gintendo for, what is today? January 31st, 2017. And this is a special <clears throat> Namco tribute stream, because yesterday um, the news broke that Namco's founder, Masai, Masaya Nakamura, passed away. Uh, this was not a like shocking, unexpected passing, because <clears throat> Mr. Nakamura was 91 years old, so he lived a long and full life. And part of his full life was bringing us great games. He was not a game developer, a video game developer, but he had a close hand in a lot of Namco's early works, you know, as an oversight, uh, overseer, whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna we're gonna play some of those games, and I am streaming again on an analog NT Mini through HDMI. It's supposed to be streaming at 1080p. It may just be doing 720p. I don't know how it works, but in any case, I'm going to kick off with a Famicom Disk System game. Cross your fingers and hope it works. You never know with Famicom Disk System games. Here we go. There's something, a BIOS, but will the game itself work, or it will be an error? Oh, look, it works. That's exciting. Yes, we're going to start with Galaga. If you notice here, it has a 1990 copyright date, even though this game is very, very old. And that is because this is the Famicom Disk System re-release of Galaga which came out in, uh, I believe it was a 1984 release on Famicom, but uh, toward the end of the, the system's life, uh, a lot of publishers would put their older games like Galaga onto Disk System because it was very inexpensive. It was kind of like having a budget line uh, back in the day. Uh, so this was kind of a budget re-release. You could, I think, go to demo kiosks or download kiosks at uh, convenience stores and copy games for like five bucks each onto a rewritable disc. And you could put little stickers on the discs that were official release stickers uh, published by Nintendo or whomever. And so... Oh, come on, guys. You're not even gonna buy that. Come on. There we go. Come on. Make me work for it. Boy. I suck at shooting. Again, I'm playing on a really big screen TV, and I'm used to playing on a smaller TV, which is why I'm doing a terrible job here. I've never seen it turn blue. That's awful. Okay. Uh, anyway, so this this cartridge I got, uh, I think on eBay is where I picked it up. A lot uh, of a bunch of rewritable kiosk discs, discs among other things, and. Uh, the other side of this disc is Bomberman, so I know that's not an official release because Bomberman was Hudson, and this is Namco, or Namcot, if you prefer. So Galaga. Yeah, I'm not going to ace the challenging stage because I didn't sacrifice one of my ships. And I'm playing on a really big screen where it's hard to aim up uh, lineup shots. Uh, the reason I'm playing on a big screen instead of a usual tiny screen is because I have just received this analog NT mini system, and... Oh, I suck. Oh, come on, dude. Jeez. Um, anyway, I don't have the proper analog cables to do RGB to a small screen TV, blah blah blah, you don't care. Anyway, HDMI video looks crisp and great, so that's what you really want. Uh, someone in the stream I see asked, what does the T in Namcot stand for? And I, oh, pff, don't know. I think it stands for terrible, because that's how I'm playing. Uh, no, it's like Namco technology or something. God. Right. I should stop talking and shoot instead. Die, scorpions. That's German for these scorpions, by the way. I think I made that joke on the last stream, so I apologize if I'm recycling my jokes. It's been a rough week. We're only on Tuesday. Goodness. Well, I did at least make it to stage 5, so I get that neat little flag marker at the bottom. That counts for something, I guess. 
So anyway, no no big surprises here, but Galaga is one of uh, Namco's real classics. It's one of the games you see in arcades even now. It's been reissued many times along with Ms. Pac-Man, which Namco, I think, doesn't really like that much because they don't actually own it uh, entirely, because that was made by General Computing Corporation. We'll talk about that later. But um, anyway, whoa, Galaga is a classic shooter. Oh, I killed the scorpion too quickly. Oh, and I got a spaceship back, so... If I really want, I can do this. You know, there's nothing more embarrassing than letting your fighter be captured on your last life. It's a really stupid way to get a game over. Oh! Did I, did I mess up? Okay, good. Whew. That was... that made me panic for a second. Alright! Now I can take on the challenging stage. Suck it, death. I'm a big target and I'm going to get blown up, but at least I'm going to get a lot of points in the challenging stage. That's what it's really all about. Way to go, me. That was perfect. I only had to sacrifice a life for it. <sighs> oh, goodness! Someone just said the gin is strong, and I haven't even had a sip yet. Um, there's really no excuse for my terrible play. I'm completely sober at the moment. But yes, this is Gintendo, so as always... Oh! Ship is gone. Oh! Other ship is gone! Eight stages. Well, I guess it's time to take some... Take a drink. <sighs> okay. So I hope no one in here has... No one watching has misophonia and gets grossed out by people making sipping sounds, because I just did that. So I'm drinking... Actually, I'll talk about it in a second. I'm about to switch games, and that involves turning off this system. And there is a possibility that the live stream will cut out when that happens. And I hope that doesn't happen, but if it does, please just hold tight, and I will be right back. You never know. It's, it's kind of tricky with these live streaming, newfangled technology. My goodness. All right. I'll be right back if I disappear. Thanks. have uh, reset the system and put in a new cartridge, and I'm hoping that it's streaming. It says it's streaming, but I'm not actually seeing anything on my capture device. There we go. All right. The cartridge worked. So it doesn't look like anyone has disappeared. That's good. Thanks for sticking around. Um, I'm also... Oh, that's not good. I was just going to say I'm glad this cartridge worked, but I was wrong. Well, that's the magic of old video games, I guess. You never know when they're going to work. And are we back online? No. Okay, so now we're back. Sorry again for the interruption. Oh, look, you got to see the analog startup screen. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to try to play this and hope that it doesn't crash on me. Uh... Of course, even if it doesn't crash, there's still no way in hell that I'm beating this game, because it's really hard. But Rolling Thunder is one of my all-time favorite Namco titles. Um, I need to pick up the Japanese version of it, because it has a special music chip that the American version does not, and uh, supposedly the Japanese audio is really, really good, because of all those specialty chips, you know how they do. Uh, oop. Huh, so there's a theme here. Last time I was shooting Nazis, now I'm shooting Neon Klansmen. This is truly a game series for our times. Come on down, dude. Yeah, I can't really hear the music that well, because I've got to... I've got to turn down to avoid, uh, interference with the stream, but it sounds a little warbly on NES. The original was kind of an FM synthesis spy music jam. Anyway, I ducked into the door, and now I've got a machine gun. But there's no sense in spraying down the bad guys. You can be precise. I guess it's technically a submachine gun. 
And I can get Bullet if I want Bullet. It's not Bullet Bourbon, though, because that would be Bourbon Tendo, not Gin Tendo. Oh, right, and I was talking about the Gin. Sorry about that. Um, so... Uh, what gin am I drinking? Oh, no, I jumped onto a guy and his skull killed me somehow. I'm sure that makes sense in some way. Uh, anyway, so I am drinking Nolitz Silver Gin. And if you've never heard of that, it's okay because Nolitz is kind of hard to come by. It's also pretty expensive. It's a gin that's priced like a good bourbon. Um, anyway, it's a... Uh, I'm just drinking Nolitz. I'm not drinking tonic or a cocktail or anything like that. It's pretty rare for me to drink just straight gin, but Nolitz is so good that you can actually do that. Did I kill that guy? I think I did. All right. Anyway, Nolitz is uh, supposedly like the original gin or something along those lines. That's kind of how they market it. Uh, it's been manufactured since the 17th century or something. It's a Dutch gin, and uh, is really, really nice. It's got a nice floral flavor to it. Um, it's one of those that I like to give as gifts because anyone who tries it is always impressed by it. And it was given to me the first time as a gift by my sister-in-law, who shares my appreciation of the finest form of liquor. Uh, she gave it to me as a Christmas gift, and I was bowled over by how good it was. All right, level's done. So I did at least make it to stage two. Congratulations, me. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Something's happening to the anime girl. So, uh... Oh, wow! I got a grenade in the face! That's not good secret agent work. Anyway, um, if you ever have the opportunity to try Nolitz Silver, I highly recommend it. Uh, Nolitz also makes one other kind of gin called Nolitz Reserve, and it costs $700 a bottle. So maybe someday, when I'm independently wealthy, I will try a bottle of it. But in the meantime, I'm content with silver, because it's like $40, $45 a bottle. And a bottle goes a long way. I just can't justify $700 for really pretty much anything. That's why I didn't buy a 3DO back in the day. That's right, I tied it back into video games. So I believe I can, yeah, jump up on these. Fortunately, Agent Cool Guy, whatever his name is, I forgot his name, uh, cannot shoot in midair. And this looks dangerous. Oh, ah, you didn't duck fast enough, Agent Cool Guy. Well, at least I can continue. That's something they wouldn't let you do in the, uh, in the arcades. Oh, no grenades to the face, please. Fortunately, the grenade guys only take a single shot. So Namco uh, made Rolling Thunder, I think, in 1985, right around the same time that Sega made Shinobi, which is really, really similar to Rolling Thunder, and I don't actually know which came first. I don't know if one was inspired by the other, or if perhaps um, it was just a case of simultaneous, spontaneous creation crazy similarities, but in any case, they're both really good. Play them, love them, enjoy them. I will say that Rolling Thunder came off a lot better on NES than, whoa, than uh, Shinobi did. Shinobi on NES? Not so great. All those Sega games, not so great on NES, which maybe was unavoidable. But um, <clears throat> Rolling Thunder, of course, was not published legitimately on NES, in America, it was a legitimate release, you know, a uh, licensed release in Japan. Oh, jeez. Dude punched me right in the face, and I was already dead. Um, anyway, yeah, this was pu published by Tengen, who picked up most Namco games for the US. Eventually, Namco repatriated with Nintendo, and we got some Namco games published by Bandai, curiously enough. Oh, pfft. good grief. All right. It's time for Agent Cool Guy to start over again. Are the bad guys doing the dab thing when they die? Yes. They are. I don't know what dabbing is. Whoa! Did I just fall into a pit? Oh my god! Oh, it sent me back to the beginning. Bah! 
This game bears its teeth early. Once you get to the place with the guys who are made of fire, that's all she wrote. I'm sorry if the way I'm advancing here is a little bit herky-jerky and makes you nauseated at home. That's not my intention, it's just there's always guys at the edge of the screen, and as soon as you scroll them onto the screen, they kill you. So I kind of take it slowly. Good thing those uh, grenades don't throw off many fragments. They're just like little smoke grenades. Alright, I've made it back to where I was. At that time, I succeeded with the jump. Take that, and that, and that, and that. Yeah, that's right. Bullet! I like bullet. If you ever want to play a really good, uh, licensed, approved by Nintendo clone of- Oh! Right in the throat! Uh, anyway, licensed, authentic, approved by Nintendo clone of this game, I recommend checking out Codename Viper by Capcom, which is actually the most blatant ripoff of... Maybe not the oh, most blatant ripoff ever, but it certainly is not ashamed about what it is, and what it is is a big ripoff of Rolling Thunder. Uh, developed by Arc System Works, I believe, as a matter of fact. They were around back then, making games that were suspiciously similar in nature to Rolling Thunder. Back before Guilty Gear. Maybe it's called Guilty Gear because they felt guilty about ripping off Rolling Thunder. That is my theory. Whoa. Ah, oh, dang it. The guy sucks. Oh, I continue. Alright, I'm gonna give this one more shot. But first, I'm gonna take a shot. Okay. Bat oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at this game. Oh, I'm super terrible at this game. Well, I think maybe it's time to move on to a different game pretty soon, because good lord, am I messing the bed on this one. This is not a fitting tribute to Masaya Nakamura. Sorry about that. Mr. Nakamura. Oh, hang on a sec. I just realized this uh, stream is unlisted. Someone mentioned that in the, the comments, and I didn't even notice. So I just made it public so lots of people can enjoy my disgrace. Good times. Yeah, take that dudes who did stuff and things. Anyway, this is also kind of a, a poignant stream for me, because today is the last day that I am working full-time at US Gamer. And actually, it wasn't really full-time today, it was just kind of, uh, I turned in a Yoshi's Woolly World Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World review, and now I am streaming Rolling Thunder badly. Can I kill that guy on the stairs? I can. Right on. Oh, I just remember Agent Cool Guy's proper name, his Christian name, is Albatross. It's, he has weird parents, what can I say, but that is his name. That's what you get for jumping around like a goof. Oh, how about that timing? Yeah, that's right, kids. Don't try that at home. What is that? It's like the Shadow Warrior. I have no idea what that guy does, but it's probably bad. Because that's what everyone in this game does. Bad stuff. So, there's a lot of stairs in this stage. This enemy base is made of many, many stairs. It's... wow, there's, there's a lot of stairs going on here. I just keep going down and down. And I'll probably have to start back at the top if I die. So, I'm gonna duck that bullet, and hope I don't die. And I hope that two shots kills that green guy. Good times. All right. Ah, uh, it's another green guy. Come on, green guy. 
Ooh, right in the face. Actually, that wasn't the face. It was like the groin. It was like his tiny face below. I don't know. What am I talking about? Anyway, um, if you're just joining in because I just... Ah! Finally set this public. This is Gintendo for Tuesday, January 31st, 2017. Uh-oh. That seems a little naughty. Um, my goodness, let's skip on past this. Children, please, don't look. Uh, this is a tribute to Masaya Nakamura, the founder of Namco, who died, uh, passed away uh, at age 91. Whoa! It's a goblin thing! There we go. Uh, yesterday, or at least that was when his passing was announced, and uh, Mr. Nakamura did not actually create this game, but as I mentioned on the Retronauts blog, he, uh, you know, always took interest in Namco releases. Oh, I wish I could shoot as I jump. Yeah, take that. Oh, right in the stupid me. Well, that's it for me. 6426099. I guess that has a purpose. Let's find out. Uh, what was that? 642 Six, four, two, six, zero, nine, nine. Oh, look at that. I can continue. Why don't they just let you continue? That's very strange. I mean, it's allowing me to continue with a password, so why even bother with a password and no continue? Uh, video games. I wonder if that was a feature in the Japanese version. It's possible that maybe the Japanese game didn't give you a password and they added that in for the US version. Because sometimes they made games a lot easier for the US, and sometimes they made them a lot harder. This game, God knows, did not need to be made any harder. Right. Now I have a bullet. Whoa! Hey dude, my bullets are faster than yours, so take that. Is this the original cover shooter? It might be. This would be revisited later by Namco in the form of Time Crisis. Which was not a very good game, but the sequel was amazing. And I spent more money than I care to count on Time Crisis 3 in the arcade. And I played Time... Whoa! Time Crisis 3 in the same arcade where I discovered rolling... or no, sorry, Elevator Action Returns, which is very much a successor to the spirit of Rolling Thunder. So it all it's all full circle. I like certain kinds of games, and I keep playing them in different per permutations. I do not like little hairy goblins, though. No offense to those of you who might be a hairy goblin or related to one. What? Come on up and die. Alright, I've got so many machine gun bullets now. I'm going to die before I get to use them. That seems bad. Some kind of cat thing? No. There's a lot of cat things. The cat things just keep coming. And this is starting to turn weird. What are these spiky rod things in the ground? What kind of bizarre hellscape have I wandered into? Oh! Albatross! You died from a bullet around your neck. That's ironic! If you are just joining me for the stream, I see the numbers are going up now that I had the good sense to make it a public stream. Hello, I'm playing Namco games in honor of uh, Masaya Nakamura, the president of Namco, who passed away yesterday or this weekend or sometime recently. 
he was he oversaw many, many really wonderful games, arcade classics, such as Rolling Thunder here. Why won't these cats stop coming? Oh my god. Okay, now we're good. Cats are gone. And because this is a Gintendo stream, I am enjoying a uh, Nolitz Silver on the Rocks, which is a not too common gin in the U.S., but if you ever happen to find it, uh, please have a, have a drink of it. It's really good. Oh, you rotten bastard. The checkpoints on this game are not kind. All right, purple dude. Everyone looks like Cobra Commander. Or the Hobgoblin. Or the KKK. Take your pick. They're all evil. Nothing good ever comes of people with hoods. Why is that? Not hoodies. Hoodies are fine. It's hoods. I guess that's where the term hoodland comes from. Dead cat. Dead cat. If only I had that special ring in Symphony of the Night. The cat's eye pendant? Is that what it was? That lets you absorb... Uh, health by running into cats. That would be so handy right now. But this is not that game, so I'm just being silly. Oh! Guy in the door! Okay, so now it's giving me the password, but also letting me continue. This game's weird. Alright, I'm gonna give this one more try, and if I can't make progress on this life, then we'll move to another game where I will probably do horribly as well, but at least it will be not the same kind of horrible in the same horrible setting. Eat a bullet. Kitty. Kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. There's bad guys everywhere. Human and otherwise. Alright, so there's a guy that always comes out of that door. Yes, indeed. Oh! Man. These are the worst. I should have just taken the high ground. Like Obi-Wan. Come on down. Oh! Is this the end? No. Oh, no! You stupid cat that jumped past my bullet. Do I have to start all over at the midpoint again? Oh, I do. What kind of horrible monster created the checkpoints in this game? I hate them. Suck a bullet, and another bullet, and another bullet. Wow, I got that guy on the upshot. There we go. The Famicom version, according to Justin Messer in the comments, of Rolling Thunder is better. That is true, but what I have here is the NES version. And we were lucky to get it at all, because they did not sell it in most stores, because it was a Tengen game. And stores that sold Tengen games got in trouble with Nintendo. And Nintendo said, you can't sell cool games like Mario anymore. And that sucked. So I... Oh, no! jumped right into that. Uh, yeah, I only ever saw this game in rental stores. I remember a friend of mine rented it, and I was pretty impressed by the animation, but for whatever reason I didn't really dig the game at the time, but now I like it, even if it is ridiculously hard. That's my cool anecdote. Thanks for listening. So uh, if you're just joining in, hello, Jeremy Parrish here, Video Games, Namco Games, Nolet Silver gin on the rocks. Hooray! Good times. Uh, I started out with Galaga. If you came in late, you didn't get to see me bumble my way through Galaga, so count yourself lucky. There we go. I finally did it. Well done, me. Dang it, 
stupid cat. Oh! Effing cats, man. Alright. I think that is the end of Rolling Thunder for me. So I am going to switch out games, and again, that requires me to turn off the system. And that may interrupt the stream momentarily. Hang tight, it'll be just a second, assuming the cartridge that I use works, and we'll be good to go with a new game. So hang on one sec again. Uh, yes, okay, good. Stream is going, it looks like. And here is Pac-Man. You know this game. I know this game. This is the unlicensed version of Pac-Man, which I believe is exactly the same as the licensed version of Pac-Man. It makes no never mind. Look at that flickering. Boy, this is almost as bad as the Atari 2600 version. No, actually, it's not. All right, so I'm going to play me some Pac-Man. Oh yeah, 1984 Namco. This is just the Japanese version of the game. I believe this was reissued officially under Namco back after they were repatriated in 1993? This game is so slow. Yeah, you can play this one on the uh, NES Classic Edition, which was kind of awesome because uh, at the Nintendo World Store, they uh, evidently didn't have... They, they put up an NES Classic display showing off cartridges of all the games on the NES Classic, and apparently they didn't have access to the official licensed reissue of the game, so they actually showed this Tengen cartridge, which was not approved by Nintendo America. And someone probably got fired for that. They got back to Japan, and the ghost of Hiroshi Yamuchi was like, You fool! I'm doing a terrible job here. I have forgotten the Pac-Man patterns. I did get all four ghosts there, though. Anyway, supposedly the 1993 reissue of Pac-Man under license is different than this one, and I don't know how. But even though this is a little bit pokey, it's still a pretty darned accurate version of Pac-Man. Um, and that was kind of the appeal of the Famicom back in the early days, uh, back in 1984, 85, 83. Uh, when Nintendo first published or released the system in Japan, because this system offered really good conversions of classic arcade games. Well, they weren't classic at the time, they were popular, they were hot and fresh and new. And you could play very, very convincing simulations of those games on the Famicom, certainly compared to other systems. So that was a big selling point for the system. This game right here, even though it was, you know, like three years old by the time it came to Famicom, it was still hard to find this good a reproduction of it on a home console. So sneer if you will, but there's a legacy here. And as someone in the uh, stream chat mentioned, I noticed uh, Namco partially owned Tengen, the company that published this illegal version of Pac-Man. Um, that is correct. I believe what happened was after Atari kind of fell apart in 1982-83, um, you know, it was broken into Atari Corp and Atari Games. And I always get those two mixed up. But basically Namco bought a, uh, a stake in part of Atari and with its Atari connection there, it uh, launched Tengen, a label for publishing on NES. And Tengen was originally a licensed publisher, a proper third party, but somewhere along the way they said, you know, F it. Let's just break the law. So they figured out how to uh, defeat the NES lockout chip and started publishing games with crazy black diagonal cartridges. And that's what I'm playing on today. But there were three Tengen titles published under license before this, um, which was actually the original version of Pac-Man. It was briefly a licensed game. 
uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, I believe. And that was later picked up once uh, Tengen went, went rogue. Uh, that was picked up by Mindscape, I believe. Oh, I missed a thought. Oh, stupid Pinky, go away. Oh, Blinky, no. Oh, Pac-Man's dead. Didn't die. Anyway, and the third official game, I believe, was Gauntlet. And the same friend of mine who rented the uh, illegal version of Rolling Thunder for NES and introduced it to me also owned the licensed version of Gauntlet, so I got to play that under legitimate auspices by borrowing it from him. Ah, ghosts everywhere. Okay, we have moved along. Now, a bunch of the news reports about um, Masaya Nakamura's passing yesterday called him the father of Pac-Man, which was actually a pretty strange thing to say because he didn't design Pac-Man. He was like the guy who was running the company when Pac-Man was created, but it's not like it was his brainstorm. That was uh, Toru Iwatani, which you know if you saw that terrible Adam Sandler movie, but we'll just pretend you didn't. Oh, ghost, 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 oh, good god. That was terrifying. But look, 1,600 points. Oh, jeez. Nope, I got cocky. If you are interested in learning more about Pac-Man, you can check out the uh, episode of Retronauts, the podcast from last year, in which we did a full, full, like, hour and a half on Pac-Man. And Pac-Man licensed goods and spin-offs and sequels, and the crazy games that Midway made that were not actually any good, and that made Namco angry. Great times. So check that out at Retronauts.com. You will not be able to find any information on Jin at Retronauts.com, however. Oh, right into the trap. Curse me. All right, well, I'll mop up this stage. You know, I never actually have really played the original Pac-Man that much. By the time I was old enough to see over the front panel of an arcade game, Ms. Pac-Man was the new hottest, new hotness. I'm, I'm old enough that I remember when Ms. Pac-Man was brand new, yes. Um, and that was pretty much all you could find in arcades for a long time. It wasn't until years later that I came across the original Pac-Man, and I was like, oh yeah, awesome, the real Pac-Man, not Ms. Pac-Man. And then it turned out Ms. Pac-Man is actually a lot better than Pac-Man. So, that's how that went. I played it once or twice and was disappointed, and have mostly just stuck with Ms. Pac-Man since then. I am no Billy Mitchell. As should be evident from this very stream. Alright, let's eat some ghosts and some dots and call it a day. Oh, come on, you stupid ghosts. Get out of my way. I just want dots. Oh, no! Look at that. One dot. One. Oh. I grow old. All right. So I think that merited... Uh-oh. What's happening there? Some glitches. Not good. Anyway, that merited another sip of gin, which again is Nolet's Silver on the Rocks. Great stuff. One of the few gins I can actually drink straight. I might as well eat some ghosts. Pac-Man's speeding up. He's getting a little hard to control. He's... he's gone rogue. He's a loose cannon. The chief is not gonna like that. Whoa! Watch out, ghosts! Whoa. Ah! Okay, we're getting to the point of the game where I just eat dots indiscriminate or energizers indiscriminately because everything's getting fast and scary and I'm gonna die. Well, I've made it to the melon stage. That's good. 
Sounds like a terminal condition. Oh yes, I've reached the melon stage. But no, it's a good thing. Melons are a valuable fruit in Japan. They're something you give to people when they're, they invite you to their home as, your, as their guest. They cost a lot of money. Ugh. Ugh. Let's get the rock out of here. Oh, there's a very expensive melon just waiting for me to eat it. I think I will. Ah! I meant to go up, but I didn't. And I believe that's the end of Pac-Man. So, I don't really need to belabor the point here. Um, and this is a Namco survey, so let's try something obscure. Let me switch off for a second. This will interrupt the stream for just a moment, but I promise to be back as soon as my cartridge works, which, you know, it could have glitches like we saw with Rolling Thunder. But I will be back in just a moment with a Japanese game. How exciting. I hope I am streaming. We shall see. Anyway, um, oh, I'm not actually getting any video here. That's bad. That's not good at all. Maybe I won't be playing a Japanese game. Um, game starts up this time. No. Okay, no Dragon Buster for you. So much for that. Ah. All right, I'm not having any luck here. Uh, it looks like I'm streaming, but uh, none of my cartridges seem to be working now. So, all right, well, that's it for my Namco games. Uh, that did not go well. Battery error, what the hell is that? I just played this disc the other day. Man, everything's just breaking down. Um, give me a second, I'll dig something up and try to make the best of it. Sorry about this. But I promise I'm going to keep going if I can. <laughs> okay, so none of my cartridges actually function. I really need to do some cleaning, I guess. Uh, all right, I'll give it one more shot. I swear to God, this is going to work. None of my cartridges seem to be working. I don't know if it's a problem with the carts or with the analog NT Mini. Um, I'm going to give this... <sighs> All right, I'm going to jump over to the EverDrive, so bear with me. Back. All right, I'm back, and I'm cheating. I'm using ROMs, but you know, when real video games don't work, sometimes you gotta. So, this is Dragon Buster. This is the game I was going to play, and... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be any good at it. I've never really played much of this game. played the arcade version on a Namco collection once, and I was not any good at it. So I guess I can go to either the cave or the castle thing up there? Caves are scary. Let's go to the castle. Whoa, that's a white thingy. That's white, not white. So I'm not a big fan of... Hmm? Yeah. My goodness. Can I jump? How do I jump and get that? Little Dragon Buster guy. Come on. There we go. What kind of, ah! What kind of terrible game physics does this have? This reminds me of... Um, <clears throat> what's it called? Uh... Madola no Tsubasa. Things are just terrible. Ugh. Okay, so I have to tap, double tap jump in order to jump that high? That's terrible. Friends, this is not that good a Namco game, I'm going to say. Wow, things are attacking me from off screen. Right. Well, I did find a door. So I guess that's something. I made it to the castle, onto the church. 
Oh, maybe that's not a church. Maybe that's a cemetery. Oh. A church would have been nice. Oh, 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 what? What? Thanks for nothing, Gandalf. Jeez. Yeah, I would like to give you lots of cool history information about this game, but I honestly don't know. Um, it seems... Whoa, really? Oh, maybe that's a dragon. Am I going to bust that dragon? I think it's actually going to bust me. The... Uh, hit recovery on this game is really weird. Actually, pretty much everything about the way this game plays and controls is really weird. I can't say that I'm actually a fan. There are a lot of skulls in the background of the stage. What's going to hit me from off stage this time? Oh, it's that guy. And I barely survived. Congratulations, me. Good job. Well, I think that merits a beverage. Hooray. And I'm down to 39 points of vitality. I'm not going to survive this stage. Oh, hey, look, there's kind of a Zelda 2 thing going on here. And also, how did I do that? I, like, shot fire. Whoa. Ah! No! Oh, watch me die. Oh. That's really sad. Okay, well, that was quick and horrible. Um, yeah, let's not do that anymore. Let's play a different game. Yes, don't look. Uncle Jeremy's been naughty. Um, man, all these games are terrible. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? Is this Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja? Or is it just Dragon Ninja? Ah, should I be Blade or Striker? This is not a... This is... Oh, yes it is! All right. Well, this is the game that uh, President Trump referenced yesterday when he talked about Bad Dudes coming into the country. He doesn't know that it's only Bad Dudes who can save the President when he gets kidnapped. So... Um, I guess that's supposed to be one of the people in the cabinet? I don't know. This is not an Amco game. This is a Data East game. I'm very sorry. I broke the rules. Whoa, look at that spin attack! Yeah! Tatsumaku Sin Pyakyaku, whatever he says. Oh, wow. I think ninjas are way tougher than bad dudes. Yeah, ninjas win. And Kuno Ichi. Come on over. Oh, well, I would like for that guy to come out and play, but he's, there we go. You know, I think Ninja Gaiden did it better. Is that Karnov? Eat Whirlwind kicks Karnov. Oh, no! Karnov is way stronger than me. You know, I think that's about enough of this. Okay. This was kind of a <clears throat> impromptu stream anyway. Um, I'll do another thing about video games later this week, and I will clean my cartridges in advance. Sorry that this stream went a little bit messily. I need to find my brass cleaner, clean my carts. But I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this kind of not-so-great video stream. They'll be better in the future. Um... So yeah, go play some Namco games. Remember all that Masayu Nakamura did for video gaming. I don't recommend playing Dragon Buster. Maybe something good, like Dig Dug. I don't know. Um, and I will be streaming again sometime later this week. I don't know when, but stay tuned to Retronauts.com and this here video channel. And also Twitter, and so on and so forth. 
Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.